Nevada is home to one of the rarest fish in the world, the Devil's Hole Pupfish. Who would have ever thought that out here in the middle of Death Valley, there would be a group of scientists getting together to study a fish? But they are in Devil's Hole. Considered an extreme environment, the Devil's Hole is located at Ash Meadows Wildlife Refuge, about 90 miles west of Las Vegas. Is this great or what? This is Devil's Hole. This is where the Devil's Hole pupfish is and all the science that's happening right now. Come with me, we're gonna get real close. Scientists from different organizations are here today for a very important count. One of them is Mark Heisner from the Desert Research Institute. Now, there's a lot going on behind us right now. We got some guys down in the water. What are they doing about how many guys are down there? We've got five guys down there and they're counting fish. The Park Service, the Nevada Department of Wildlife, and the Fish and Wildlife Service have been managing this resource jointly. And what they do is, for the last 43 years, they've been counting fish um, using a consistent method so that what we can do is look back at the historical record of the fish population and have a, a relative indicator of the health of that population and the size of the population. These inch-long iridescent bluefish play a big role in the research conducted on the Devil's Hole ecosystem. What I am looking at is the impact of climate change in Devil's Hole, and particularly on the Devil's Hole pupfish population. And so when we talk about climate change, we typically think about higher temperatures. Um, what's important in this setting is certainly those higher temperatures, but also the time of year when those higher temperatures occur. A Devil's Hole pupfish lives 10 to 14 months, so every year this entire population is being replaced. Um, there's a seasonal cycle to the population. So in the spring, that population number is really low. They spawn in the spring, uh, reproduce, and then in the fall, the population is higher. And in the winter, there's no direct sunlight on the Devil's Hole. So what happens is there's no photosynthesis to drive that food web. The algae die out, the pupfish eat what's, whatever's there, and the system goes into a food limitation. And so there's an annual mortality of fish in that system. The species was listed as endangered in 1967. In 2013, its population fell to an all-time low of 35. What would it mean if one day we came out here as people and there were no pupfish? It would mean that we caused the extinction of an entire species. And the pupfish population was steady uh, at about 200 to 400 individuals in the spring, 400 to 600 individuals in the fall, until we started pumping groundwater. Uh, when we started pumping groundwater in this area, we lowered the water table, we reduced the habitat available to the pupfish for their annual spawning, and we really drastically affected the pupfish themselves. Scientists believe the Devil's Hole pupfish has been here between 10 and 20,000 years, Aquatic biologist Kevin Wilson works around the clock to keep the species alive. Take me through a typical dive. What tools are you using? What do you, how does it work? Sure, so we dive down to 110 feet. And as we're counting fish, we do have, uh, it's called a slate, and we're able to you know, write down our numbers so we don't forget. So you're it literally is, making a visual contact with the fish and then writing it down? Right. We are unique in which we can count with pretty good accuracy the whole population of the Devil's Hole puffing. Specially trained volunteers dive twice a year to check on the populations. Divers have reached 436 meters deep without seeing the bottom. To this day, it's still unknown the total depth of Devil's Hole. Kevin's gonna do his dive right now. He's gonna get all geared up. He's gonna go down, and then when he comes up, of course, we're gonna be there to talk to him to see exactly what he found. After diving for about an hour in this 93 degree natural pool, Kevin finally emerges. I have been holding my breath since you went under. How well, was it? It was, uh, you know, it's a spectacular, spectacular place. Um, I just took my gear off and I'm looking at my slate here, looking at some of the numbers from um, our dive. We saw a good number of fish and we're excited about that. They look healthy. Uh, what's a good number? Well, a good number right now is anywhere over 100. We're gonna wait till tomorrow. We do we have two more dives and after that, we'll be able to tell you. So here, this is what our number is for our spring count. The spring count registered 80 individuals in Devil's Hole. The species continues to be a great concern for management, 
But for scientists, the results represent an encouraging process. I have had a great time out here. I've learned a lot. Boil it down for me. Why do we care about Devil's Hole? Well, there's obviously the conservation aspect. And the conservation of the Devil's Hole pupfish is one of the things that really drove research in this uh, system. But there's also a broader scientific question here. Devil's Hole is a really small ecosystem, but what that means is that it responds very quickly to stresses. And the stresses on the Devil's Hole pupfish and the Devil's Hole ecosystem, climate change, reduced groundwater levels, changes in not just the temperature, but the seasonality of temperatures, are stresses that are gonna be felt in all the different other aquatic ecosystems. And so what we can do in Devil's Hole is really study what kind of response we're gonna to see to those changes and get a good idea of how we can manage for those changes and mitigate those changes in other ecosystems. Yeah, it all works together. You are a real Devil's Hole advocate. Thank you very much. I've Thank had you, a great John. time. I'm glad you could come out. Nice to see you. It's almost ironic, but it's reassuring that out here in the middle of Death Valley where it's arid and dry, there are volunteer scientists who are working to sustain life in the form of a little fish.